Hello everyone. Today we'll discuss about few MCQs relating to microeconomics. Question number one. The term micro and macro are derived from the options are Greek language, Latin language, French language and Russian language. The correct option is option A, Greek language. Second one. Who used the term micro and macro for the first time? Among the option, the correct one is option C, Ragnar Frisk. Who is named as a father of modern macroeconomics? Options are Alfred Marshall, Jim Keynes, Gregory Mancuve, and J.R. Hicks. And the correct one is option B. It's Jim Keynes. Question number four. Which of the following doesn't come under the subject matter of macroeconomics among aggregate demand, aggregate supply, general price level, and market demand of the commodity? The correct option is option D. Market demand of the commodity. Which of the following statement is not true? There's no interdependence between micro and macro. General price level, employment, and national savings are subject matter of macroeconomics. The study of behavior, consumer, producer, and market comes under microeconomics. Microeconomics doesn't study about the aggregate macroeconomic problems. The correct uh, answer is option A. There's no interdependence between micro and macroeconomics. Question number six. Who is among the one who have not provided the definition of economics among Adam Smith, Alfred Marshall, Jenkins, and Lionel Robbins? The correct answer is option C, Joanne J.M. Kins. He has not provided the definition of economics. Question number seven. Which of the following statement is true? Adam Smith defined economics as a science of wealth. Marshall defined economics as a material welfare. Robinson defined economics as a science of scarcity. And the correct option is option D. All of them define economics. Match the following. Writer's name are given and the books list are given here. Which of the following is true so the correct option is option a 3a b1 c d d2 that means adam smith has written wealth of nation alfred marshall principle of economics Lionel robbins asian nature significance uh, of economic science and jam Keynes, the general theory of employment interest and money question number nine dates are given books uh, list are given so which of the following is true Option A is definitely the correct one. That means 3A. 3A. 1776, Wealth of Nation. B1. 1890, Principles of Economics. C4. 1932, Essay on Nature and Significance of Economic Science. 1936, General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money. Question number 10. Which of the following is known as Welfare Economist? Pareto and Edgeworth, Calidor and Hisk, Sitosvisky and all of them and the correct answer is all of them who defined economics as a positive science alfred marshall william adam smith uh, leonel robbins and viner the correct answer is option c leonel robbins question number 12 the problem of choice choice arises due to scarcity of resources abundance of resources abundance of utility consumer theory of course, the correct one is the scarcity of resources and Indians when the problem may arise with them. Question number 13. Per capita income is concerned with microeconomics, macroeconomics, price theory, and consumer economics. The correct answer is option B. Macroeconomics. Question number 14. The another name for microeconomics is price theory, demand and supply theory, market theory, and equilibrium theory. The correct one is option A, price theory. Question number 15. Which of the following uh, is the subject matter of microeconomics? Income and employment, international trade, inflation and interest rate, none of the above. The correct answer is D, none of the above. Microeconomics focuses on issues such as economic growth, inflation and unemployment, the working of the whole economy, factor that affects aggregate demand for goods and services, the behavior of individual and organization towards scarce resources. The correct option is option D. The behavior of individual and organization towards scarce resources. Question number 17. The study of how prices of certain goods are determined would be considered as an issue in macroeconomics. Microeconomics, uh, descriptive economics, and normative economics. The correct answer is option B. Microeconomics. Question number 18. 
which of the following statement is concerned with microeconomics? Unemployment rate decreased by 30%. 2017 nation national income of the country is 2600 billion. The price of chicken increased significantly during festive season. The economic growth of country was 6% in 1995. It's obvious the correct answer is option C. Question number 9. Match the following. Scope of microeconomics, limitation of microeconomics, importance of microeconomics, and interdependence between micro and macroeconomics. And provides data for aggregate variables, optimal production decision, assumptions of Satoris Paribus, and theory of product pricing. The correct uh, option is option C. 4321 ABCD. Question number 20. We cannot have all things we want. The resources available to satisfy our wants are at any time limited in supply. The above statement reflects the concept of opportunity cost, choice, scarcity, and unemployment. The correct answer is scarcity. Economic behavior such as choice uh, is the result of human need, human greed, scarcity, poverty, private ownership of resources. The correct answer is option B, scarcity. Which of the following can be considered as a basic economic problem? What to produce, why to produce, how much to produce, and for whom to produce? The correct option is option B, why to produce. Question number 23. Scarcity and choices are the central economic problem. Reason. All goods are scarce and relative to people's desire for them. So, both assertions and reasons are true, both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not correct explanation of assertion. Assertion is true, but reason is false. Assertion is false, but reason is true. So, what do you think? Which one is right? Please comment it in the comment box. Question number 24. The individuals and business must make choices because options are they must act rationally resources are scarce and the law of diminishing return applies none of the above the correct one is option b resources are scarce finally the last one for today if a consumer is acting rationally we mean that he saves a portion of his monthly income rather than spend it all he won't take a job that pays low wages he weighs up the cost and benefit of each choices he makes. He will always buy a product in a market that are cheapest. The correct one is option C. He weighs up the cost and benefit of each choice he makes. That's all for today. So friend, before ending today's video, as you am your video edit on Box Service I would like to suggest a few things. Please visit our channel Eco Energy in YouTube. Here are the videos when you upload vocals on different topics on MCQs, latest new please economic data and lecture one on national income accounting. Watch all these videos, video man par hai. Like God dinu, ke shabd dinu, feedback sa ruwa tha koi nahi chahiye. Comment section magar comment God dinu wala. Also do not forget to subscribe our channel. Let's grow our community. The next one is uh, there's a blogger Eco N R V 2021.blogspot.com. Yaha zain. Latest data on Nepalese um, macroeconomic situations and various economic insights are the post by Dakon. So visit it regularly if you want to learn a few new things about economics. And also, if you have any queries, any suggestions, or any feedbacks, you can post in our Facebook page Officer Preparation. If you have any questions, NRB, LBL, RBB, NBL, the slavers, the Baku topic, or Novani, you can post for Nuala as you go and I'm using the questions of the song where I'm a blog my post one is on. Please follow us regularly. Thank you.